empowerment can be defined as promoting women's sense of self-worth, their ability to determine their own choices, and their right to influence social change for themselves and others. This topic is especially important at this time of year because next Tuesday, it's International Women's Day. Hats, heels, and gloves is a local young woman empowerment tea party striving to assist our young women in today's society to become the best version of themselves. This is evoked by means of speeches, presentation, and music while sipping on tea. Today we are joined by Anika Ali, the coordinator of Hats, Heels, and Gloves. Welcome, Nikki. Thank you. How are you, hon? I'm fine. Okay. I'm loving so, the hats, heels, and gloves, by the yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. Thank you. Thank you. We have a clip of the promos video done for this year's event. Let's take a look. I am an advocate. I am an author. I am strong. I am sexy. I am exquisite. I am creative. Soy una mujer luchadora. I am intelligent. I am a visionary. I am talented. We're young gun. I am audacious. Okay, so can you tell us the work that went into this video? Oh, first day I have to give thanks and credit to True Couple. He oh, was. Nigel. <laughs> yes, he was. I called him and I said, listen, I have this vision. I need help. He was like, okay, tell me more about it. Tell me more about it. So I told him, I said, this is what I want. So we recorded. I said, I don't want the entire thing. Because what we did was, in one clip, I would say, I am bold, I am strong, I am audacious. Mm -hmm. Then he chopped it up. I said, I don't want myself saying the entire thing in one day. Mm -hmm. I want, like, faces flashing. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is what I wanted. And he said, okay, I got you. He mm -hmm. said, we got this. And it was so funny because the day we chose to record, it rained cats and dogs. Oh. It was sunny Sunday, Friday, Thursday, and that Sunday morning, it poured. I said, Nigel, we're doing this. Mm. Come hail, snow, sunshine, <laughs> we're, doing we're doing this. Because I need to get it out. And he was, he was behind me 100%. He mm. really was. He really was. Mm. It was fun. It was fun. Okay. It was fun. All right, so theme uh, for this year is I Am Woman. Ah. As I said to you when you came into the yeah, studio, I, I sure. love the shirt, I feel a little deprived because I want, to, I want my own. I am man, but anyway, that's fine. Uh, you are a woman. So tell us uh, yes. why that theme, why is this important for you? Oh, the themes. No, my themes come about 90% of my ideas. They come from dreams, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I got up one morning and I told my niece, I said, I had a dream. She said, okay, Martin Luther King. What <laughs> Thinking. She got it correct. <laughs> She's talking about that as well. <laughs> she, she said, what did you dream this time? I said, this is what I saw. Mm -hmm. And I told her. I said, mm -hmm. She was like, I like the idea. And mm -hmm. then I, I told my sister. Well, she's not really my sister, Esther Thomas, but I called her my sister. I said, I have this idea. What do you think? Mm -hmm. She said, I love it. Run with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I said, being a woman, it's, it's vast. It means being a mother, being a wife, being a doctor. To the men who are so, right, the husbands, <laughs> when we're sick, we still have to get up and take care of the family. Yeah. But when the husbands are sick, oh my God, oh babe, baby. I can't move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that being a woman, it's, it's, yeah. it's great. It's great. I'm not saying that being a man isn't great, but um, I mean. Oh, yeah. trust me, I would not. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if we got the tit that title or the extra weight because of what ha had happened. Mm. So I don't know, because it's like, whoa, whoa man. man. Yeah. Whoa, man. Yeah, I have no yeah. Absolutely nothing You're to say. You're all numbered here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're all numbered here. So can you tell me who are some of the presenters for this year? For this year, we have Esther Thomas. Again, mm -hmm. she, I call her my secret weapon. Yeah. Yes, I, I tell her, everywhere I'm going, you're going with me. I don't care what it is, I'm mm -hmm. taking you with me. So Esther Thomas, as we all know, she was a presenter last year as well. Mm -hmm. This year we have Rhonda Nisbet Brown. She's a lawyer by profession, mm -hmm. an advocate for women again. I love her dearly. And she's my cousin too. Oh. Right. <laughs> right. In the family. right. We have Leslie Nisbet, who is mm -hmm. also my family. She's my niece. Mm -hmm. She's speaking on the fashion sense mm -hmm. of being a woman. We have from Antigua. See, I, I, we're enlarging territory yes, here, yes, right? Yes. We're stepping out. Mm -hmm. So from Antigua, we have Miss Chris and Ambrose. 
She is a motivational speaker, a life coach, an amazing woman. She is mm -hmm. the sweetest. She is here already. Oh, I, sh nice. I should have asked her to join me. Maybe you should have. Yeah, I, sh I should have. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll preface this next question with this. As a woman yourself, which is what your shirt tells me you are, <laughs> how important is it uh, to undertake initiatives mm -hmm. like this, women's empowerment? Ah. Uh, it's, it's, for me personally, as a woman, you know, as women, we tend to feel as though women can't thrive or we all can't win together. Mm -hmm. And I try my endeavor best to detour from that path. Mm -hmm. So right now, this is basically the journey I'm on. Mm -hmm. For women to win, we can all win, whether we're yeah, in the no. same field, whether we're in the same, it doesn't matter. We can all win together. So your business was established in 2019, as we say, you marched right into it. Right into it. Um, how has it evolved since then? I noticed on the ad, um, before you answer the question, there is a woman that habla espanol. Huh? So are you incorporating the bilingual community in your event this year? This year, well, for the ad, we wanted to do a bit of diversity. Okay. So we want, I, wanted, I wanted someone who speaks Mandarin. So mm. I went on a hunt. I, I messaged one of my friends in Nevis. I said, what do you know who's in Seiki who speaks Mandarin? Mm -hmm. He said, my cousin. We went, we got her. I said, you know what? I need someone to speak Spanish. We were on the street, hunted. Hunted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I said, wait, I know there's a salon somewhere around here. And I said, I said can we? She was like, yes. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, so we're just trying to incorporate women of all walks of life. Okay. Yeah. So, so how has it evolved from 2019? Oh, and gloves. Greatly, greatly, mm -hmm. greatly, greatly. <laughs> I can laugh now. The first year, you know, it was the test, the trial phase, yeah. the trial phase. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying, this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. In my mind then, I had no idea what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Because I thought it was just a one-time thing, you know? No, Honestly, no. that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is just the beginning. And uh, looking back, uh, we have advanced so far mm -hmm. and again this is just the beginning mm -hmm. because where we're planning to take hats heels and gloves mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to jump on board no I oh I, I i've learned my lesson <laughs> I'll give you the teaser. I'll just wait. Uh, yeah i'm the company of women so i know how to take my cues okay uh what i want to know is the event has previously been held in both islands correct yes okay. mm -hmm. so it's being held in sync it's only this year yes and is there a reason for that not necessarily. I just want to market it harder. And mm. honestly, in Sinkis, it does that. It does better in Sinkis than it does in Nevis. So I said, I'm going to push it in Sinkis because I want to venture out further. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking at is heading to Antigua. Mm. Yes. On the neighboring islands. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so we're planning to take hats, heels, and gloves across the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So and you're going to see it. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm learning from you this morning. <laughs> that I am woman, what is a woman, and woman is a visionary. That's what I'm learning. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I have the pleasure of knowing you personally. So you were a professional hat before and you transitioned into being an entrepreneur. How right. was that for you? Oh, honestly, I loved it. I was at um, banking. I was into banking. I loved it. Honestly, I loved it. I saw myself in it. I saw myself reaching to the top. And then one day I was like, this is not it. Mm. Like, this is not what I'm called to do. And you know, when you wake up morning after morning, not wanting to go to work, that mm. it's, not, it's not just a phase, like, oh, I don't feel like going to work today. I just wasn't into going to work. The job that I loved so much, I'm like, mm -mm, there's more, there's more. Now, back then, cosmetology was just a little side fun thing. You yeah. know, I, I do the little friend's nail, I make the little $50, $60 on the side. Then I said, mm -mm. I said, I think I, I really love this. Mm -hmm. And I got into cosmetology. I, I told my boss, I said, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. I gave her my resignation letter. And she was like, really, Nikki? You, you're really leaving? Yeah. I said, yeah, I really can't do it anymore. My love for it. I don't have the love for it anymore. Mm -hmm. And then I left. I, my fiancé, he was my fiancé then. My husband, he was in Dominica. So I took a little trip and to clear my head. I said, Nikki, you sure you're making the right move, girl? <laughs> you sure you're making the right? You know, you make moves, but you still have a little doubt in the back yeah. of your mind. And I said, you know what? No, this is it. I'm going full-fledged. I'm launching mm -hmm. out. 
it wasn't hard, honestly. It wasn't hard because I loved yeah. doing nails. I loved doing makeup. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I got into the woman empowerment part of it, I was like, this is why it's I needed aligns. to. Yes. Look at that. This yeah. is why I needed to go into cosmetology, to mm -hmm. meet women, to empower women. I couldn't mm -hmm. do that from the back. Mm -hmm. so, so you do feel that you pass on your sense of self-worth to your clients? Most definitely. Good stuff. Most definitely. Stuff. There go my hopes of getting some inside information on Cortensia. I'm like, women empowerment, women helping women. I'm not going to get any dirt. I am still not going to get any dirt on Cortensia. All right, so let's talk about the ways that empowering women has helped you personally. Mm -hmm. oh, being here today in itself mm -hmm. is a testament of that because personally, those who really know me know I'm really shy. Mm -hmm. I prefer to be in the back. Mm -hmm. I will put on the massive events for you, but let me stay in the back in the stage. Back. Yeah. Yes, no one has to know my name. No, I don't even have to be, my name doesn't even have to be affiliated with anything. Mm -hmm. that, That's you. <laughs> but in 2022, I, the beginning of 2022, mm -hmm. I, I said, you know what? This year I'm going to be audacious. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to be bold. Fear is not going to cripple me anymore. Exactly. So I, when they called me to be on the show, I said, can I call you back? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I, I really had to gather my thoughts. And I said, Nikki, no, get it together, Nikki. Mm -hmm. This is the year to launch out. Nikki, mm -hmm. yeah. But then I couldn't find a number. And I said, OK, maybe I'm not supposed to be on the show. Mm -hmm. And then they called again. Mm -hmm. They were persistent. Very and I said, yes, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. I said, Nikki, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So it, it, it really motivates me to, it helps me to motivate women. If I can be here, yeah, can anyone else can be here. Mm -hmm. Trust me, if any Ka'ali can be here today, yeah. anyone else can be here. Yeah. So it's worth, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. that? That? <laughs> mm -hmm. So to women out there who may be feeling unworthy in a sentence, tell huh. them how they can begin the process of embracing their value. First, you have to come to realization. Like, with your truth. First, that is what I had to mm -hmm. do. I had to get real with myself. I said, Nikki, you have shortcomings. Get it together. Mm -hmm. That is what I did. And that is what your first step should be. Know your truth. Mm -hmm. And then seek help. Mm -hmm. That's it in a nutshell. Know mm -hmm. your truth and seek help. Mm -hmm. And then you will be able to move forward. Okay. All right, so we're talking hats. Heels and gloves. gloves. So you're going to remind us mm -hmm. yes. in closing the location, the date, and what patrons can expect. It is this Sunday, March the 6th. We still have time to get tickets at Carabel Batik. Starting time is 3 p.m. Be there. You don't want to miss it. It will be fun, empowering speeches, food in galore. Yeah. Who wants to miss that? <laughs> <laughs> and where can they get tickets? Uh, the tickets are on Fort Street at Elegant Fashion. Or you can call me at 660-7688. Well, there you have it. Please, uh, wearing that shirt, I am a woman. The woman has to get the final word. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a camera. You get the final word. Are you not I a woman? I get the final word. No, I, I thought she was getting the final word. She just did. You're taking a commercial. So, so oh, <laughs> okay. So we are women. And we want you to attend hats, heels, and gloves. That's right. On Sunday the 6th at 3 p.m., as she said, at the Carabelle Boutique. And Nikki, I'm, I gotta call you Nikki because we're yes, familiar. Yes. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing out. And you know what you just did? Right. You looked into the camera. So I you know. are definitely audacious. <laughs> right. And you did what you said you can do. So you see, women, she is yes. empowering you already. So stick and stay. <laughs>